What is up, fellas? Lady fellas. It's your boy Rowdy, and I'm coming at you with a wacky weapons video. That's right, this is the 22nd rendition of our wacky weapons videos, and I gotta say, they are going pretty strong. Now, I got six brand new weapons for you guys today, and they're gonna be quite the, uh, the savage weaponry. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Now, the first one that I got for you guys is going to be the Advanced Laser Rifle. Now, this is going to be a beast of a weapon. You can tell that it's... I mean, it's huge. This thing is going to put a hole in somebody for sure. One of the problems that I had with this one, honestly, was going to be what projectile override to use. I decided on the Laser Musket in red, just because I thought it, you know, came out the best, but... You guys can take this however you want, because this is like a beast of a weapon. It's going to be the assault rifle with the powerful automatic receiver, the missile standard barrel, the full laser stock, the pipe quick eject drum mag, the standard sights, no muzzle, projectile override for the laser musket in red, no color squap, 25% more damage, and rapid. Now, this is a beast of a weapon, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I have a, quite a farm set up over here for, honestly, all these enemies. So, let's try it out on a kill claw. Oh, yeah. Alright, alright. Albino death claw. <laughs> and that's that's pretty much the end of that fella right there. Damn, alright, let's, uh, let's try a... Uh, Who did I hit? Glowing Yaogwai! Oh my god! It straight obliterated him! <laughs> Alright, so this is going to have a damage of 90, microfusion cells, fire rate of 136, range of 191, accuracy of 70, and a weight of 18.3 with a value of 1089. Now the next one that I got for you guys is going to be the Bucking Bronco. This is just a kind of a short weapon that just, I mean, it looks pretty dope. Once I did this, I kind of made it by accident, and I was just like, you know what? I think this looks good, just as it is. So, kind of, you know, change up the stock a little bit. It's going to be a combat shotgun with the double light frame receiver, the long barrel for the uh, combat shotgun, the hunting short stock, no muzzle override, projectile override for the plasma, and two two-shot perks. Now this thing, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit. All right, all right, we gotta try this on somebody else. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> Damn, he changed blue. Hey buddy, you kinda are you feeling blue? <laughs> I was kind of hoping this would do a little more damage. Oh yeah, and the reloading animation is got to be one of the weirdest parts about this gun. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now. Isn't that weird? It takes the whole freaking barrel with it. Either way, it's a cool looking gun. And uh, I feel like... I don't know, it's a good shotgun, man. That, that's all there really is to it. That's it? Glowing Deathclaw out for the count? Damn! So, in an extreme close range, it could do quite a bit of damage. Um, it's going to have a damage of 319, microfusion cells, fire rate of 20, range of 20, or sorry, range of 71, zero accuracy, weight of 8.3, and a value of 617. Boy, is that accuracy, that's... That's correct, man. That's There's none with this. Now, the next gun that I have for you guys is going to be the Magnum Blaster. Now, I had a user comment and tell me that I should make a laser Magnum, or a laser revolver, actually. And so I kind of went and I, you know, tried to do my best to make that. Um, I went with the pipe revolver just because I feel like it would be better suited for this. So it's going to be the revolver with the 308 receiver, the laser improved short barrel, the laser standard grip, the revolver glow reflex sight, the uh, no muzzle projectile override for the space laser, and uh, that's pretty much it for this guy. I didn't give this one legendary effects, but um, you free feel free to add whichever legendary effects that you want. 
because I I guess I just forgot to do that. I don't know how that works out. Anyways. <laughs> hey there, guy. How you doing? How you doing? I feel like this is like a like a Star Wars style blast. Oh! Oh! oh. Now the main issue with this one is that it's not powerful. This is not going to be a powerful gun. It's a good gun. I mean, it looks good, and it's probably good for earlier on in the, you know, in a playthrough. But as oh, haha, <laughs> bitch. Damn. Frozen pieces. No, yeah, probably for early on in a playthrough, but not definitely not for like you know later on in the game. I think right now I'm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm approaching. I'm at 121 right now, so. But um, it's going to have a damage of 92, uses the microfusion cells, fire rate of 15, range of 107, accuracy of 61, weight of 7.3, and a value of 61. Now the next one that I got for you guys is the party animal. And as the name implies, you want a party? That's how to do it. <laughs> so it's a minigun with the junk long barrel, the Gatling reflex sight, the Gauss compensator, the projectile override for the Gauss, plasma infused, and freezing. Now this is going to make a clusterfuck of all sorts of uh, crazy shit. Why doesn't even... I don't know. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dude, he was non-existent coming after me! <laughs> he was just legs. <laughs> oh god, dude. No, yeah, this this here's a beast. Look, this is a Myler Queen, and we're just mowing this fool down. That was finishing him on one clip. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's gonna be close. Oh, I did it. Now, I don't know why this is, but, like, the whole barrel spins, and I just, I just love it. I think it looks, it's, it's so freaking awesome. So, I mean, if you guys get the chance, try this gun out, if anything. I mean, Jesus. Damage of 8, and energy damage of 22, but I think that that's kind of off. So, test it out, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's going to use the 2mm electron charges, fire rate of 272, range of 191, accuracy of 62, weight of 32.3, and a value of 2,985. Now, I also got this bad boy called the Mez Pistol. And, I mean, as the name implies, it shoots the Mesmatron ammo, or the, uh, the Mesmatron projectiles. And it's going to be a pretty beast, uh, beastly weapon, honestly. It's going to be a 10mm pistol, powerful automatic receiver, junk short barrel, the 10mm sharpshooter's grip, 10mm eh, large quick eject mag, standard sights, missile stabilizer, projectile override for the Mesmatron, and chromed that bitch out. Now, oh, well shit. I also forgot to do an, an up, a projectile override for this one. Or, sorry, yeah, legendary effects. But uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want because honestly when I tested this gun out <laughs> yes <laughs> oh what dude you're non-existent how <laughs> Maybe I need a bigger target. Maybe that's the issue. Alright, let's see. Oh shit. Oh shit. I guess it locks on too. Mesotron is so beast. I'm, I'm, I'm saying Mesotron is one of the most underrated um, projectile overrides that you can use because it is just it is just beast.
And there we go. We conquered the bitch. <laughs> and then the death claw is trying to move in. Anyways, that's a beastly mega pistol with 48 damage per shot, microfusion cells, fire rate of 127, range of 95, accuracy of 69, weight of 6.6, .6, and a value of 134. Now the final one is going to be the touch of death, and I just like the way that this one looks. Honestly, um, it's going to be pretty straightforward. You know, you're going to have the Assaultron blade, you're going to have the Disciples Cutlass blade, projectile override for the Fat Man, Chromed Out, Grognax Axe, and Shem Drown Sword. The Shem Drown Sword effect gives it that little green glow that you see. I don't know if you can really see that. I'll try getting as close as I can. But uh, gives that little green effect. And that's going to be... It's going to be pretty sweet. Nice little touch to it. So let's see if this actually does what I wanted it to do. Oh, nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. Damn! <laughs> and there goes the head flying. So, I mean, if you're a melee character, this is gonna be like the weapon for you, man. Oh! There you go, Kate. That's the spirit. Oh my god. Damn. So, not quite as powerful as I thought it was going to be. Um, what I did was I added the projectile override for the Fat Man in hopes that, that damage would reflect. So, it says 1,035. Is it actually 1,035? I don't think so. But um, it's the 1,035 damage, um, 20 radiation damage, apparently uses a mini nuke. With a swing speed of medium, weight of 6, and a value of 282. But that's pretty, gonna be pretty much it for today, guys. I just kind of wanted to show off some weapons for you guys. I will have some more videos up this week. I'm going to try and get a user submissions one done within either tomorrow or the day after. So definitely keep, uh, keep an eye out for those. And if you guys like the video, go ahead and leave me a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you're feeling particularly daring, do all three. Yeah. If you're feeling daring... Oh! My God! <laughs> I just saw Kate get wrecked. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And... Deuces!